All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and dig up for you the true value of this property at 43611 Cedarhurst. It's going to go pretty quick because I had to sneak into this office and use this realtor computer in order to get this data for you, so I don't want to be caught here. What we're going to do is quickly log in to this system and start pulling down some data. We're going to go ahead and run a search for comparables. If we look at the comparables search right here, we hit criteria and we go ahead and we're going to search for one mile because that's what an appraiser would look for 43611 Cedarhurst 48111 find this property alright so this is going to draw a circle one mile one mile in radius around the property we're only going to be looking for properties that have sold within that circle radius right there so we'll go ahead and accept the search area and start plugging in our other criteria we're not going to be looking for active properties because there's all kinds of sellers out there pricing their houses way too high, out of touch with reality, and have no idea what they're doing. Those uh, those type of comparables are completely worthless. What we want is sold data and pending data, which is what people have paid for houses and what they're willing to pay for houses is right now in this market. We're going to go ahead and say we'll go back 200 days because we want to get recent information, not information that's a year or two old. Square footage, the house that we're considering is almost 2,700 square foot, so we'll start out at houses that are at least 2,000 square feet or larger. Uh, I'll also say but houses with bedrooms or with basements and garages since this house has a basement and garage and since this is a newer construction home built in 2002, we're going to go with houses that are 1990 or newer. Count and it says there's 18 so we'll go ahead and pull data from there and it's going to give us our results stay with me here because this is going to go fast alright here are all our, our results they range from 165,000 all the way up to 262,000 dollars we're going to check here and select all of these properties and then we're going to CMA or comparative market analysis them and we'll skip to the report pretty quickly we want to compare here are all the uh, the properties and all of the data on them we're going to want to compare them to the subject property we just have to enter in the ID number 42715215 use this particular listing and we want to compare this house versus uh, four other houses at a time let's get back to the report All right, so here we see right here all of the houses. This is what they were listed at, and this is what they sold for. Down here is what we really care about, the price per square foot. These houses sold for anywhere from $70 a square foot all the way up to $110 a square foot, with the average being $92 a square foot. Here is the subject property, and here are some of the comparable properties with all the detailed data about them. What I'm going to go ahead and do for you is download this report and create it as a separate link on the eBay site though, so that you can look into in-depth at all this information at your own leisure. But once again, if we take a look at this market data right here, we see with an average sold price of $92 a square foot, you multiply that by $2,786 and you get a value of 256312 so hope that I'll put this in perspective for you I'm gonna go ahead download this really quickly to a video file put it on my flash drive and get out of here I think I hear somebody coming